thanks for joining me it's Wednesday so it is the weekly summary of what's happening in the world concerning earthquakes now I'm going to start here with this first chart on the list um, as you can see these these dots here are actually readings taken um, per day on this graph you see all the dates along here 2nd of October um, and these these readings that are taken it's the number within a 30 day the last 30 day period so for example the reading taken on October the 2nd will be the total number of earthquakes from September the 2nd until October the 2nd and it is the red alert earthquakes which from USGS is any earthquake that can cause damage to either humans or property so it is a total number of red alert dangerous earthquakes from the past 30 days taking a reading taken each day now as you can see this is where we are the 20 21st of October and we our earthquakes are right down now to seven so we are actually at a quiet period in time you will remember this there's the the earthquake concerning around Chile where the numbers shot up and that's because mercury was buzzing us mercury passed between us and the Sun and the electromagnetic energy we buzzed earth and caused a quick ramp up in the earthquakes that was recent so we can call that the, the last month and this is the same setup so it's a reading every day and this one runs from as you can see runs from March all the way until now there is our mercury buzz and our chilly earthquake that we uh, that we just seen when we buzzed by there's a Venus slightly buzz does but the effects are less than mercury and here we can see April it goes up you know until May and that is when um, Saturn buzz does when we moved between Saturn and the Sun and the electromagnetic energy you can obviously see that it was a lot greater and brought on the earthquakes but as for the average per month as again you can see May here when we got buzzed by Saturn where the earthquakes were high uh, obviously we're in October here but we're not doing the earthquakes are high and there you see this is like a trend line and it's uh, very good and you can see it obviously moving up there now the average we will take all the readings from the month let's say you have four readings or it could be three or five readings in a month and then we simply add them up and divide them by themselves and then you come up with this um, nice monthly average which is very good to look at as you can see we had a big buzz but the earthquakes in total and average of a month didn't really drop down they kind of they're kind of hanging up quite high here on an average which is uh, great to look at because you don't really notice it on a week to week basis now this graph is again it runs from July 2014 until the present time um, and this is total earthquakes in the past seven day um, period so this is all the earthquakes it, it doesn't matter what multitude they are any earthquake or every earthquake sorry that is reported by the USGS in a in the past seven day period obviously the reading is taken uh, as you can see you know this is very volatile this but the trend line you know does as there you can see the fourth the fifth that is when again Saturn buzz does and we gone down and this shows us that we're actually coming back up again in the past couple of weeks you can see a big bounce there look at that reading from the past week you know compared to what was it uh, 1800 and plus and some change and here you got 1400 and some change so it, it, you know there's been a quite a violent uptick 
obviously again it's very volatile it could be down again next week who really knows until next week comes and again this is just a yearly uh, readings taken of earthquakes and the red alert earthquakes for the past 30 days and again you can see the Saturn buzz there slight Venus buzz right here and then you've got the Mercury one which we just had um, this is the lifelong kind of uh, reading so since I started taking my own readings um, as you can see started in July when it, we got buzzed by Saturn um, on the Passover month uh, end of April was the biggest peak and we got buzzed a little bit by Mercury which kept them up a bit and then they dropped down Mercury buzzed us a little bit there then Saturn was the other side of the Sun and caused effect and then again Saturn a month late after the Passover so June time and yeah, buzz does again and then again Venus and then Mercury which we just had so that's a lifelong um, graph as you can see from the data from the past three weeks though the quakes per week uh, yes per week see the blue line this is actually earthquakes in the last seven day period the red one is earthquakes in the last 30 day period so obviously this is higher because it's taken from 30 day time frame back this is just over the past couple, over the past week uh, as you can see <coughs> we got major jolted by that um chili one there you see the look at that in it that must have been the week of the chili earthquake because we it jumped up and there was i don't 11 12 something <coughs> in that <coughs> in that week so that was the chili earthquake but it bounced down to zero zero but now Obviously, you can see the numbers going up per week on a gentle slope for the past two weeks, so something to watch. And of course, you heard me mentioning the planets a lot. When the planets conjoin or line up together, then that's when you get a lot of these earthquakes. But this is the state of play as for today. The sun, the earth is here, Mercury's over here, Saturn's over here not really any plant planets lining up so it's safe to say that we're in a quiet time at the moment so thank you very much for uh, watching this video you're now up to date on the earthquake situation over a, a larger period of time but especially for this week um, so i hope you've enjoyed this video and please share with your friends and look out next wednesday for the next report god bless you all Amen.